All right, so now we're going to work through some examples. And in each of these functions, I want you to find the domain, the range, and then I want you to talk to me about the intervals over which the function is increasing. That means it's going up from left to right, or the intervals over which it is decreasing, where it's going down from left to right. Okay, so that's easy to remember. Increasing is going up, decreasing is going down. So let's start with the first example that we have in the notes. f of x is equal to x plus 2 to the fourth minus 7. I don't care what the actual graph is. I just want to get a sketch of it, get an idea of it, and then I can answer all these questions. Okay. First of all, we need to understand that this is a function, it's a polynomial function of even degree. And this lead coefficient here is a 1, that's positive, so we know from the last video we talked about in behavior. So if it's an even degree, it's going to be like a parabola. With a positive lead coefficient, it's going to be opening up. So I just need to figure out where does it start? How have we shifted this guy up, down, left, and right? Well, on the inside here, we know that we do the opposite of what we see, so that's going to be to the left, too. And on the outside, we do exactly what we see, which means we're going to go down 7. So we're just going to draw a quick sketch of this. That's really all that it has to be. As we go to the left, 2 units. And we go down 7 units. So we're going to take something that looks like a parabola, and we're going to shift this to the left, 2, and down 7. So just kind of getting a nice point of reference here. My vertex is going to be here. And knowing that this is, it looks kind of like a parabola or kind of like a U shape, then I know that my graph is going to look like this. And again, I'm not really going for accuracy right here. It's not going to really be feasible for some of the stuff that we have going on. So we have this picture. Now let's answer the questions. The domain. For every polynomial function, your domain is going to be all real numbers. We've mentioned that several times already. Your range. Well, this is where you look at the picture. Remember, your range is the set of y values that you use. So that's going from the bottom to the top. So the lowest this guy gets is all the way down here at negative 7. So we're coming from negative 7, and it goes all the way up, heading toward infinity. All right. Now we answer the questions about where is it increasing. So we're increasing on, now when we talk about intervals over which we are increasing or decreasing, we're talking about portions, sections of your domain. So in order to find this, take your finger, take a pencil, and just trace along the graph. So you see that we start here, and we're going down until we get here, and then we're going up. So, you see that we're going down, and then we're going up. And the value of x where things change is going to be right here. And this happens when x is equal to negative 2. That's because we shifted to the left 2 units. So I'm increasing where? Well, this is going down, and then it's going up. So I'm increasing from negative 2 to infinity. Now, here's the thing you need to understand. When we talk about intervals over which we're increasing or decreasing, those are open intervals. So it means you have to have parentheses on both ends. And part of that is because right here, when x equals negative 2, you are neither increasing nor are you decreasing. Okay, That's where you're making the change from one to the other. And then the question of where are we decreasing? We see that we are decreasing here on the left side, so we're decreasing as our x values go from negative infinity up to an x value of negative 2. So from negative infinity to x equals negative 2, we're going down. At negative 2, we're not going up or down. In the beyond an x value of negative 2, you're increasing the rest of the way, which matches up with the picture you see right in front of you. All right. The next example is 1 fourth times x minus 5 to the fifth power 
minus 2. All right, so some things to point out here is that you have an odd power. So this is an odd degree guy, which means he's going to look like a, a cactus. Look at that lead coefficient, that 1 fourth. All right, so that's positive. So he's still going to be looking like this for his um, end behavior. He's going to be going down on the left. He's going to be going up on the right. And let's look at the rest of, at the rest of this. So on the inside here, we see minus 5. So that means we're going to be taking this shape and we're going to slide it to the right five units. And the minus two means we're going to be going exactly what I see. That means going down two. So we're going to get a quick sketch of this. As I go to the right, five units, I'm going to go down two. So that's my new key point. And from here we're going to draw our cactus shape. So that means we're going to be curving up on the right and curving down on the left. So again, it's that cactus shape because it's based off of an odd degree polynomial. So we take cactus and we slide that to the right five, down two, and the one fourth is going to compress it a little bit, but again, it's going to be kind of hard to see that, and we're just, again, getting just an idea about the shape and where it's located. So let's answer those questions. Your domain, as it is for all polynomial functions, is all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. Your range, as you look at this picture, this guy goes all the way down, and he goes all the way up. So the range is all real numbers for that guy as well. Now let's talk about where we are increasing. So as you trace along here, you see that you are going up, going up. You kind of flatten out right here, but you are still increasing and going up all the way to the right. So there's never a point where he stops going up. He goes up and gets a little flat, but then he keeps on going. Right? There's never a time when he's curving down. So he's never going down, so he's never decreasing, so he's increasing on the entire domain from negative infinity to infinity. And when it asks where is it decreasing, well, we just, talk, we just talked about that, right? There's never a point where he's going down from left to right. Because when you look at increasing and decreasing, it's always from the perspective of moving from left to right. So this guy's going up the entire way. He's never going down. So he's decreasing nowhere. So if you're doing this in my math lab, it's going to have you type in an uh, interval notation for an answer, or there's the option to click and say it's not increasing or it's not decreasing. So you wouldn't ever be typing the word nowhere. Okay, you just do a, do that on a test. All right, here's the last example that we have from these. This is negative quantity x minus 3 to the 6th power and then plus 5. Okay, so here we're just going to get an idea about the location. A couple of things. You've got a power of 6, which means it's an even power. So it's going to be that u looking guy. But since there's a negative in front, it's going to turn this guy and it's going to turn it upside down. Then we have the shifting to take care of. So a minus three on the inside means I'm going to go to the right, three units. And this plus five means I'm going to go up, five units. So to help us answer the questions about domain, range, and where you're increasing and decreasing, draw a picture. All right, so go to the right three and up five. So this is my key point. Remember, it's going to look kind of like a parabola, but with the negative, it's going to open upside down. So we're just going to draw that shape. And it's going to look something kind of like this. Okay, again, we're not going for accuracy just to draw a picture to see things so that I can answer the questions. First of all, the easy guy, the domain 
for all polynomial functions is negative infinity to infinity. Your range, now this is where I use the picture to help answer the question. Your range is bottom to top. So this guy's coming from negative infinity and it goes all the way up to a y value of five. See, right here, that's when y equals five. So the range is from the bottom, negative infinity, up to five, including five, because that is a point that we are including. And now we want to find out where are we increasing. Okay, so as you look here from left to right, I'm going up and I'm going down. So I'm increasing up to the point where x equals 3. So I'm increasing from negative infinity up to an x value of 3. And again, we're going to put parentheses because we're talking about open intervals for increasing and decreasing. And then the decreasing part. So where do we start to decrease? We don't start decreasing until we get beyond an x value of 3. So we are decreasing on the interval from 3 to infinity like that. Okay. So as you trace from left to right, you're going up. You hit the peak when x equals 3, and then you start to decrease beyond that. Okay. So we're going to look at things that are a little bit more complicated in the next video. Um, finding the intercepts, still finding the, the domain, and uh, talking about, you know, turning points, and a lot of other neat things. So, see you there.